Hey guys, welcome back to Civilization VI Rise and Fall as Hocho Tokemune of Japan. Great to have you guys back. And looks like we're going to get our monument. And let's see how badly our little scout is going to be affected by the... Uh... Oh, the barbarian left. Good. Okay, our little city of Gufu, or Gifu. Not too bad. We could use a builder for this little city. I think, um, I think we will go ahead and get the water mill for the production. We're going to need to get a um, builder down there for them. Hopefully we'll get some more air score after we build uh, the barracks in these two cities. And we won't get it for the holy site. Or will we? Yeah. Okay, so that's going to give us some air score. We need, um, we need 64. You, I did not want you to come down here, but here you are. This city is in no particular need. However, our city up here, on the other hand, could do a farm here for like a triangulation. Okay. And yeah, I mean... I might buy a builder. Is it worth it? Is it necessary? I mean, we're only going to be able to work two tiles, or three, technically. And we're growing fine. Uh, obviously, we still we still want to work the tiles, but it's not urgent. How much would it be to buy a builder? 360. Wow! Three sixty. Probably could make one here in Osaka pretty fast. Let's just see what it'll be after the four turns. But we are going to want districts here in Osaka. And a matter of fact, we probably want a builder to clear this jungle. Looks like Gorgo has broken off her attack. They are from the United States. Washington looks like it's having problems, but she left New York. Yeah, it's really weird. I'll have to look at why we're not getting vision, but... So in three more turns, I guess I could... We're going to get exploration, so we're going to get additional policy slots, so that might allow us to use the additional builds for builders. Is he at war with... Who's he at war with? He's at war with Scythia and Tamiris. Or Tamiris and Gorgo. He's holding on. They are very warlike. <laughs> That's for sure. Alright, now... Metal casting is going to be a little more important than banking right now. We have plus 50 gold, so banking is not a problem here. Okay, Alhambra 40. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Now, before we do that, fourteen turns. Whoops. Well, I might have to make the library just to just so that we're I could make an armory. But the library would be more important. Because we got to get the error score. We got to get the error score. And we will get error score for building the um Forbidden Palace. We'll get error score for building that campus. 
and that holy site. So hopefully we can push ourselves into at least a normal age. Because um, we need that. And there's some three error score for, um, like, what is this increase? Oh, yeah, because we did the, wow, three for the holy site? That's pretty nice. Nice. Okay, five more. We could make a shrine uh, real quick and definitely get it. And get even more. And then uh, let's use our scientist. Gain 100 faith, although it's <laughs> not a big deal, but it does provide science as well. So 67. I don't know how much of a boost that gave. I didn't see either one of our things go up. But hey, you know what? I think that gives us just additional science in general, like as a bonus. And here it looks like we found the backside of Tamiris. By backside, I mean the end of her city. We're going to get some error score here. We're going to need to check our alliances too. So we're going to get some error score now for this campus. And for perhaps... Well, I'm not going to get it for exploration, but... Um, yeah, there we go. And farm. Carthage. Okay, that's for our district. Right, yeah, for exploration. All right, good. All right, so. Well. <coughs> Library for some more error score that's kind of the strategy for that guys that's why I'm doing that we'll go ahead and get the guilds and 20 turns 17 We might get enough with the Forbidden City. Merchant Republic. And nice. And then when we get the um, Forbidden Palace, it'll give us a wild card. We can check that. I believe it's a wild card. And what I wanted to do was... Um, Could do science. Could do science and culture. You know, push a little bit of the science and culture. Establish governors with three promotions. We don't have that. Plus two with, spe with at least three specialty districts. We're not super suffering for housing. Um, maybe... Science. Uh, we're not hurting for amenities, thank goodness. Uh, not building any naval units, although we probably could with our other city. Where's our bonus for wonders? Defensive buildings, that's for walls. We are building some encampment districts, but I don't think it's
I mean, we are building some right now. So let's see if that is going to help us out. There's two additional error score for choosing Merchant Republic. Our science went to 85. Let's see, 13 and, th well, 13, we're only building one here. <coughs> Envoy, that's going to be uh, Zimbabwe. Oh, Toronto for production. Although, we need a buffer. We probably will need to get Amani. Because we're going to need to flip. Well, we lost Babylon. We'll find, you know, we're going to discover more of them over here, but they're going to be dominated by these AI over here. The AI just dominates when it comes to city states. Just have him pop up there. All right. So, seven more turns. And hopefully we'll get the Forbidden Palace. That is a wild card slot for the Forbidden Palace. Theater Square would have to be right here, which means we need to take advantage of this rainforest with some with something. Right. Yeah, housing is <laughs> housing's an issue. I don't even keep up with religion anymore. Once you get past king, it's just I don't even look for religion when I have king, really. Or play on king difficulty because it just isn't, just uh, isn't worth it. I mean, it's yeah, it's just not worth it, especially once you get up to the difficulty we are here, um, emperor, and anything higher than that, it's just. I mean, if you focus on it wholeheartedly, yeah, maybe you could have some success at higher levels. I know the development team has really tried to make it more of a point for people to play more religious victory or more religiously I just don't see a lot of people playing religiously and of course I I mean that uh, in the sense of uh, religion versus some metaphor or, or, euph or euphemistically if that's a word euphemistically so um, the Halicarnassus is made by Tamiris so uh, Alhambra has not been built so that is awesome Matter of fact, there's the Patata Palace. That is a diplomatic slot there. Uh, but we will need to go ahead and get banking. You. Yeah, we probably need to start thinking about units. You're probably wondering, why haven't you made any samurai? Well... Because the samurai just become is it, uh, infantry. We're not at war, which is beautiful. But I haven't forgotten about um, our defenses. The pike and shot is pretty nice. But honestly... What can you do up here? What do you need? You probably need um, 10 for the next building. Yep. So we need to focus on growth up here. We could go with some medieval walls. Uh, we could go with a builder. We do have um, that as one of our policies, right? Yeah, we need to get a builder down here, though. This is where we need a builder. 
what I might do is uh, once the Forbidden City is done, we will build some builders with uh, Tokyo. That'll give us the additional build with Liang. So I'll let our capital do that. So up here in, Tio in Tokyo, we will get a another catapult. Because um, we'll want to um, combine those together, of course, for our artillery. Whew, I almost tripped up on that. Our artillery. Kind of something I just like... You know, try to get it early in the game and then, um, you know, have your, like, your major firepower established. But as I headed into the heart of All right. Yeah, we're going to get some air score for that. Yes. Nice. Okay, I'm glad. I'm happy for that. Now, United States has got some... Terrible land. Wow. They got some really crappy land. I'm really surprised that um, Shaka's not gone after him. I'm really surprised that Shaka hasn't gone after um, Brazil. And see, the thing about Civ 6, as opposed to, say, like, Civilization 5, is in Civ 5, we could, we could pay Civs to go to war with each other. And, um... I guess the development team thought that was a little cheeky, uh, especially at higher difficulties. We get the, you know, you can make some good money and just have the AI fight each other and protect yourself. But um, so, of course, in Civ 6, that's uh, not possible. You would have to um, do a joint war to be able to um, to do that now. But um, all right. So do I really want to chop for a catapult? We will get some food, but for a catapult, I think I'll make a mill right there. I have um, played two games of religion, and that was like, you know, on a lower... What was I playing that on? I think I was playing it on um, Prince, Small Map, as Gandhi, really to get the achievement unlock more than anything else. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Yeah, to get the achievement. All right. Harbor would give us a district. How far away are we from... Um... We're right at 64. Beautiful. So, you... 10 turns for a builder... 10 turns for a builder. That is not terrible. That is not terrible, to be honest. I think I'm going to do it. This is a... I like this little city now. I really do. This is an awesome city. But I couldn't throw it down before Osaka because that would just be kind of dumb. But this is going to be... This is just, that worked out so well. I mean, usually when you're up to like your sixth city like we are now, it's like buildings are a pain to build and stuff. And, you know, sometimes you're not going to maybe get the best of tiles and stuff. But this has been a really fortunate game in, in the overall scheme of things. And it's kind of one of those times where it's like, if I had played this on my own off camera, I would have been regretting. I would have been kicking myself in the butt the whole time going, damn, if I had only recorded this game. And believe me, I have games like that that I play. And I think, man, if only I had recorded this game because it was so cool or something really neat happened. And um, because like when I record 
H1Z1, or when I play when I'm playing H1Z1, I'm always recording, always because hackers or just things in general that I want to cover in the game. Uh, but it's always on when I'm playing H1Z1, but not always on when I am playing Civ 6 because it's just there's just a lot of moving parts. All right, guys, let's go ahead and do um, one more turn before we wrap this video up and then you will see that we'll get the Forbidden City and the error score. We'll get to normal, we won't get to golden, but still, it's gonna be cool getting the, the Forbidden Palace. There it is. Along the central axis, the axis of the world. Everything in the four directions suspend from this central point, represented by these palaces. Very cool, very cool. I like getting uh, the Forbidden Palace in um, Civ 5 as well. Because um, you get the diplomatic bonus. There's our extra slot. Beautiful. What can, what do we need? What do we need? another scientist oh nice instantly build university and library in this district well that is absolutely perfect for our gifu jifu jifu gifu Nice. Yeah, there we go. So, wow, four for the Forbidden Palace. Wow, that's really good. Oh, we're almost, we're really close. And we'd only need six more. Well, well, six more would be 75, right? We would need seven to hit Golden Age. Let's see. How many more turns? Thirteen. So what we could do is we could try to build some more districts. Like we could finish this commercial hub. Um, what was it? How many? Thirteen turns. So the commercial hub, the library... The university. Yeah, we might be able to do it. And then we could probably build like um, a temple there. Um, I guess we could just get some culture and science. Can it build? Yeah, we definitely want this because um, I might actually build... those districts and get them down. I definitely want to build it in Kyoto, but Kyoto is going to need to build probably several builders. Let's get you on food focus and get you some food. <laughs> uh, I hate using hills for food, but we might actually even have to buy this rice for the food. Guys, I'm going to have to wrap it up here. We did get the Forbidden City or the Forbidden Palace, whatever it's called in Civ 6. It's the Forbidden City. Guys, thank you so much for your support. Uh, please consider clicking that like button and be sure you click on that watermark and or channel icon you see appearing there on the screen to subscribe and then click on the bell so that you guys will know when the next video is released for Civ 6. And if you have friends that are interested in turn-based strategy, feel free to let them know. And I will see you guys in the next game.